these people have suffered me. Hear my accent. They have suffered me. Ah. Hey, Mutiji. Ah. I have seen things today. From the. <laughs> These girls in I want to get to know you. I hope you get to know me too. Hey guys, so I decided to go get some food because I'm just thinking, do you know what, if I get, if this person, if this, oh lord I can't even speak, if this driver, the man with the van, <laughs> turns up and I've not eaten, that means we're then packing and then we'd have to drive to the new place, I'm not going to eat for quite a few hours so I might, and I've not had breakfast as well. So I decided to go get some food. Oh my days, it's so bright. I don't even know if you guys can see me. Um, but yeah, I definitely don't need this jumper. And I'm wearing Uggs as well, and I don't need them. Well, fake Uggs, Primani Uggs. It's so weird doing this walk. Like, I remember when we first moved to this house. So, I was 12 at the time. So it's just slightly weird to be like, when we first, oh yeah, so I got distracted by that really loud music. I don't know if you guys heard that, the car went past and the music was so loud. The way people act in summer, man, just a bit of sun. Anyways, yeah, so when I was 12, I remember we first moved here. And like on like the first or second day, I decided to like take a long walk to get to know the area because I like walking. And when I was a kid, like I could walk for like an hour because I ain't got nowhere to go. So I remember like I took this walk uh, towards where the KFC is and I just kept walking like like just like just getting to know the area and now it's just weird to think like 15 years on this might be one of the last times I'm doing this walk I'm just walking up I'm gonna go get some KFC and I'm gonna go back and try and get some stuff done on my laptop I have some paperwork to go through and I might edit so if I have energy, depending on how long this guy is going to be, I might try and get to editing. But yeah guys, um, who knows how this day is going to go. I'm just like saying God take control. Like please just take control. Obviously my plans don't mean jack. <laughs> you will not believe what time it is and how I'm still in this house. So it is 5 o'clock on the dot. Now, I was meant to move at 8 a.m. this morning, 5 o'clock. I am still in this house. Um, the driver, I spoke to the driver around like 12.30, and he said he'd be here between 5 and 6, so. Oof, my days. I am so tired. So, like, obviously, y'all now went to KFC, so I came back, took like a two-hour nap, and then now I'm just logged into work, and I'm doing like some admin tasks and stuff. But you know when you just kind of like... I had, I was up before, so I slept around midnight, I was up before 4am, I was then up all for the rest of the night, up into the morning, or for the rest of the morning, and then I've had like an hour and a half more sleep, I'm so tired, and now I'm thinking, now I'm going to get there, and I'm not going to have the time I plan to have to unpack, which is just put my plans for the rest of the weekend into like a... Uh, Anyways, I made a coffee. Even though, oh, it's boiling. It's actually boiling. Well, it's boiling in my house because I wanted to take a nap, but I needed to be really warm to sleep, or I need to have like a blanket. The blanket's packed away, so I just put the heater to high. Except now it's like really warm in my house. But yeah, guys, I just came on here to update you all so you can see that <laughs> I am still in this old house. At least I have like a bed sheet on so like I could sit on the bed and stuff and lie down But dang y'all No joke Yeah That's all I came to say To say 
to say, to say, that has such an early R&B vibe. Usually songs that come out of my mouth don't have that vibe, but hey, what can we say? I didn't get around to do any editing, by the way, like, because I got the phone down like 12.30, then came back, did some stuff for like an hour, and then slept, then woke. Actually, I didn't sleep, I was watching TV. Well, I was watching laptop, but yeah, so I did that, so I didn't sleep straight away. And to be fair, when I did sleep, I fell asleep. I didn't lie down to you. I logged into work and then I was like, oh, just close your eyes for two minutes. Two minutes. And then I was like, nope. Out like a light. Hopefully soon I will be on the way. Um, we can only hope. There's a stain on my glasses. Uh, we can only hope, guys. Like, I'm not even going to have time to go food shopping tonight and stuff. My nails are such a mess. Look at how they're such different lengths. They've broken like no man's business over the last 24 hours. <laughs> At least I finally took off the pure nail polish. Oh, gosh, guys. I couldn't roll my eyes. I had to roll my whole head. I just had to roll it. <laughs> oh. Let your kingdom come. Oh, that's the song. That's the song that's been in my head. It's a Phil Thompson song, and I think it's like Psalm 20. No, the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> it's like Psalm 23. That's not Psalm 23. <laughs> no, it's called the Lord's Prayer, and it, I'll put a link somewhere. Um, I came I came across it the other day on YouTube, and I was like, dang! Let your will be done. Oh, tune, tune. Um, okay, yo, I'm gonna get back to work because I'm hoping the mover turns up in like the next five to ten minutes, and I want to be done with this in the next five to ten minutes. So, watch me work. Well, actually, you probably don't. It's just gonna be me sitting. So, don't watch me work and chat to you later on. Okay, it's now five twenty-three. You're still not here. But don't worry, I'm not freaking out. Um, to be fair, I finished what I was doing when I was logged into work. So, way. Why do I do that? Way. So weird. So now I'm going through emails and then I'm just kind of looking through my finances because with the move, I've been running through that cash money. So I want to make sure I'm not spending more than I should be spending. If that makes sense. Um, gosh, how many GDPR emails have you guys received? All about, you know, please opt in to keep receiving our emails. I'm like, well, no, I don't want it. I don't want the email. On earth as in heaven, let your glory come. Shining like the sun. I've been checking, getting up every single car right here. That sounds like a big car. Nope. Dun 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 do you know I like your malicious videos? Because I feel like you actually learn about the like the nutrients. Like you see the recipe obviously and you get how to do it. But then it's actually like going like, ooh, like would I have known apples were rich in antioxidants? No. Not if your malicious didn't tell me. I love how she sticks like a Sure in it. So this seems to have turned into a commentary on other people's YouTube videos. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. When's my driver going to turn up? When's it going to turn up? Oh, that yam sweet potato and plantain porridge. That's the business. That's the business. That's if you're going to check out a malicious recipe, check that out.
Who's that? I know I'm looking to talk to you. <laughs> Sorry. That's the van. So the van company I went with, I'm on their website. And you know when you get the chat to say, do you want to talk to someone? And the same person I talked to yesterday just came up. And let's just say I was not happy after yesterday's conversation. Actually, let me just talk about this now while we're here. So basically, I normally, you say man and van to me. I go, I find a shop window, and I find a local man and van. Because that's how, <laughs> that's how my mama did it. Like, you know, that's how the ancestors did it. I don't know. That's how, I've, that's how my mom did it when we moved as a kid. So that's how I've always done it as an adult. But then, you know, I'm feeling myself. I'm thinking I'm modern. I happen to Google man and van. This any van website comes up. I'm thinking this is almost like Uber. This is fashionable. This is useful. These people have suffered me. Hear my accent. They have suffered me. Ah. Hey, Mutiji. Ah. I have seen this today. From the. Hey. Yo. All I'm saying is if you want to go. If you want to want to come and stress you out to destroy your moving it to stress you to take you like a towel and go you need to use anyvan.com that is the company you want honestly guys it's been so, so first of all so i happen to just book a line and it's almost like uber the price is ridiculously reasonable to which one i'm like because i was actually just going to book a van and get my brother to drive it I was like, these people are so cheap. Let my brother chill where he is. Like, you know, we'll hang out on Monday or whatever. Let me just get a man in van. Let's not talk about the price situation now. So first of all, on their website, it says, like, you know, book this, and then someone will call you to arrange a time. So I was actually going to book a specific time. But when I saw that, I was like, oh, they'll call me to arrange a time. So I'll have options anyways. I don't get a text message. Someone saying they come in 8 a.m. I was thinking I was going to have a phone conversation with someone, get to pick the afternoon. Um, the person says, I can only do 8 a.m., so go back to any van. I go back to any van. Any van now says, sorry, our policy is if you, just, if you don't pick a specific time, we assume you can do anything, so you have to go for 8 a.m. Now, today, I have found out that you can actually pay extra. So yesterday, when I called up and I said, I don't want 8 a.m., they could have said, give us 12 pounds. And we'll let you pick a specific time. You can go in the afternoon if you want. This person didn't say that. This person forced that 8 a.m. on me. They're telling me this at 5 p.m. yesterday. So I had to go overnight, pack all my stuff in like bin bags. It's driving me crazy. Only for this guy to turn up at 8 a.m. and he says, you've got more stuff. I can't take it. I'm like on the website, it says I can add more stuff. I can edit my order. Um anytime he's like yeah call the office i kept calling the office the office wasn't picking up it kept saying sadly when i open someone now calls me back when i'm when i'm talking i'm not looking at my phone leaves a voicemail says we're still open ignore the voicemail we're open call us back on this number i'm calling them back on that number it says they're closed guys from about 7 30 to 9 o'clock i was calling every other minute this guy says, you know what, at the end of the day, I can't carry anything that's on your list. Anything that's not on my list of the stuff you were going to have because it has to be insured. Now, normally, man and van just says, I, if you go to shop window, man and van will say, here's my van. Where's your stuff? Let's put it in. Let's move. These people with their Jara extraness. They say, no, 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 you need to, you know, we need to know. We need to know every. Let me know. Got distracted. We need to know everything that is on your list. So if it's not on there, we can't put it in the van. The guy now suggested he would take what's on the list, go drop it off at my new place, and I can get a separate van to come and pick up the rest. So I'll now be going up and down the country. Up. I wish I just said, you know what, you're annoying me. I just drop my stuff. Drop my stuff and go, please. Because I was like, wait, why would I? Leave half my stuff, drive all the way up to Kent from Essex, move half my stuff, then call up, book another van, pay the exact same price, come back to Essex to pick up the rest of my stuff to go to Kent. Like, does that, if anyone was moving, would anyone do that? Was that a sensible suggestion? Do you know what? I'm getting angry. 
I'm getting angry. I'm actually getting, ah, you need to be me. Do you know, here's the thing. A part of me was like, do you know what? You know when you want to pray because you're like, as a Christian, I should not be like, this this anger should not be in my bones but i was so frustrated i was even by the time i got through to the people on the phone any van i was in tears i was like i'm so tired i've not slept i don't understand why you people are doing this to me anyways long story short these people now say okay that's cool let's let's book you a van let's book you a new van unfortunately you have to pay that van that came this morning half the price of the job because you know he turned up and it's not his fault. And I'm like, well, it's not my fault you didn't pick up my phone. They argued. I always was like, you know, I don't even care anymore. I just want to move. Let's just say by the time I've paid, I've ended up paying over double what they initially quoted me. So initially they quoted me like 63 pounds. I have paid 129 pounds. It's 543. The second driver still hasn't turned up. And they're only open from 10 to 6. So, a part, and here's the thing. First of all, after the 8 a.m. thing, a part of me is like, you know, I've been up all night, but at least it's 8 a.m. So, I'll go, I will move, I'll be done by 10 a.m. Maybe I can sleep a couple hours and then start putting stuff. Now, I've been up all day. By the time I get back there, it's going to be, what, 8 o'clock? So, I'm moving in at night. I've got church in the morning. When am I going to get a chance to unpack this stuff? My sister's meant to be meeting, there, meeting me there. And she's still going to come, but she can't spend the whole day helping me arrange stuff now, can she? Because she's got to get home. Yo. This face. So, yeah. Let me just say, I will be leaving a review. for, And the website is www.anyvan.com. I advise you to avoid it. So, basically, and here's, so here's how they work. You need to list out every single thing you have or they won't take it and that affects your price so i call them up and i'm like oh i forgot to say on top of my keyboard i have a keyboard stand they have to add money onto it and if i didn't say that they're going to leave the keyboard stand because it's not insured you know what clothes hanger like where you dry your clothes if you want to dry your clothes indoors they had to, I, I literally had to mention that then they sent me a list saying we've put the clothes hanger on the list I was trying to think, when a person is moving, you've got so much stuff. Do you realize how frustrating it is that I have to list out every single thing I own? Especially because it's not like it's not like people like are like sofa bed. There's little stuff you pick up, little stuff, and now I've got to list out every single thing I own because you're gonna charge me for it. But even worse, you're not even gonna take it. Because everyone knows you can pack ahead of time, but on the last day, you're going to pack more stuff because there's stuff you need to live with up until you move out. So you can't even put that onto the list until the last day. Let me, I don't know, okay, here's the thing, maybe it's just me, maybe I just got in touch with a bad customer service person who didn't let me know about the afternoon thing. Um, maybe it's my fault, I should have known to put every single dang thing on the list, I should have been, you know, on top of it, I should have been predicting, but you know what? Maybe if someone has had an amazing experience with anyvan.com, feel free to comment below. Let me know. And you know what? I will repent. I will repent if I'm in the wrong. But yeah, let's just say I will not be using this company again. Okay, that turned into a rant. I apologize. It's 5 foot to 6. Driver's still in here. Lay your kingdom high. Sometimes all you can do is worship. <laughs> the devil can't come out with me. Like, there's nothing I can do. I can't stress myself. What I can do is I might as well just do what I can. So at least I'm trying to be productive and go through emails and stuff because I'll be too tired to do it later on. Hey guys, praise the Lord. It's like 6.37. The driver's turned up. The van's packed up. I switched off everything in the house so I think that's it so I've got to go but I'll chat to you soon bye okay guys it is 8 21 but I am well technically moved in I am in no way shape or form unpacked as you can see but technically I have moved in so it's kind of like I'm super like I thought like with all these bags in here it would look like there's no space to walk around but <laughs> 
there's still quite a lot of space to move around actually so i don't feel the pressure to kind of unpack everything straight away because i don't feel cramped if you get what i mean but obviously i need to sort out the bed probably the kitchen stuff um but yeah my sister's on her way here as well so she's probably going to chill with me for like a half hour and then head off oh my gosh this has been a long day the sh moving, the just the stress of moving is so annoying but at least it's finally done i am in the new place praise the lord everyone someone please please praise the lord for me um the driver i had though was really helpful like he was just like such a helpful guy um such a sweet guy so understanding so helpful so i won't be using any van again but i really like the driver i had so i will say that um but yeah i should probably get started now so let's do this Hey guys, so the journey is even more exciting. My sister's lost, <laughs> so I'm slightly worried because it's starting to get dark. It's like 8.30, it's starting to get dark and she was trying to figure it out but I didn't want her to be lost and for it to be dark out as well. So I've kind of, she's told me what road she can see, so I'm running towards her. Because she was trying to figure it out and then after we'd been talking for like four minutes I realized, sorry I've never been looking at you After we'd been talking for like four minutes I realized she was going in the opposite direction So, I'm trying to run to her now Kind of told her to stop moving Okay, I need to go find her. Hey guys, I'm still at it. Um, my sister has been, I found her, and she is gone. Um, she helped me make the bed and stuff, and we started doing the kitchen, but then I just got tired. So, we just found the most important thing, my second computer screen, so I can set things up and chill for a bit. <laughs> Can I just say God bless this girl? Because ain't nothing in my fridge apart from the six bowls of jollof rice she bought me. Six bowls of jollof rice. God bless her soul. Because <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to eat. I was thinking of getting Just Eat and ordering like some kind of Chinese or something. But praise God for big sisters. Anyways, guys. Um, <clears throat> anyways, guys. I think I am going to end this here now. So... It's been a long day. I am knackered. I am so tired. But I am finally here. I have finally moved. Which is just such a relief. Um, so, I guess more videos to come as I finally unpack and decorate this place. But in the meantime, um, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you're in the UK, have an amazing bank holiday weekend. And let's just say God bless you. Jesus loves you. And may the Spirit of God be with you. Bye, guys.